Welcome to Gospel Greetings, practical encouragement for living out your faith in the marketplace. This week, we continue The Awe of God by John Bevere. Last week, we did Working Out in Fear from Philippians 2. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. Right after the extensive section on having a humble attitude like Jesus, Paul embarks on this section of pure living. He says, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. So brothers, we by conscious effort and holy fear work out what God has worked in. This week, we continue with wisdom's beginning from Proverbs 9.10. It's also Psalm 111. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. I can't count the number of times that in our groups, guys were asking God for wisdom. Often someone quotes James 1, hey, if you lack it, just ask God, but don't waver. Seems to be almost a weekly thing. But what if there were a roadblock to receiving this godly wisdom? Wouldn't you want to know? I certainly would. And scripture tells us that getting this kind of wisdom is most important. Proverbs 4 we should seek God's, God's wisdom in every decision we make, for we are told, if you prize wisdom, she will make you great, Proverbs 4.8. What a magnificent promise. The Hebrew word for great here is to raise up, lift up, or be exalted. It's like God saying, hey, if I promote you, no one can demote you. I'll, let, I'll instruct you along the way. But godly wisdom must be discovered. It's hidden, but not out of reach. Once found, it brings tremendous benefits. So how do we find it? Well, our verse says, holy fear is the originating point for wisdom. It's like a storehouse full of all the wisdom you'll need for enduring success. However, there's only one door and there's only one key to gain access, holy fear. Isaiah writes, there is a rich store of wisdom and knowledge, but the fear of the Lord is the key to this treasure, Isaiah 33. In essence, there is no lasting wisdom outside the fear of the Lord. Holy fear is the origin of enduring wisdom, but the benefit continues beyond these starting places. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life to turn away the snares of death. Proverbs 14. And then it goes on to say the instruction of wisdom. In combining the truths from these two passages, we discover that holy fear is a fountain, a continual flow of the instruction of God's wisdom. It's an ever-present counselor that doesn't slumber or sleep, but consistently coaches us to make wise decisions in life. When we are left on our own, separate from God's wisdom, mankind has proven over and over again that we'll make detrimental decisions, all the while thinking we're making good ones. Why is this? The ways of death and destruction are hidden and baited, no different from a hunter's snare. However, when we firmly embrace holy fear, we have an ever-present, constant-flowing counselor of wisdom that gives us the ability to make enduring, beneficial decisions. Hey, even when we're unaware, this fountain of wisdom continually protects us from unknowingly becoming ensnared. Let's pray. God, give fountains of godly wisdom as we embrace holy fear. Keep us from snares and let our work be firmly established. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.